Today's challenge, dear Haskellings, is a geometric one. We have a list of pairs of coordinates that we can parse in using a parser. Perhaps using a parser is overkill, but it's good practice in any case. Last year we developed the parselist function, which takes a parser p to parse each line. This p parser will have to read in two pairs of comma-separated integers, separated by an ASCII arrow. If there's any parsing error, ParseList will terminate the program immediately with an error. The first subfunction we will write is one to get back a list of the points covered by each non-diagonal line segment. Using pattern matching, we can first consider the vertical lines going down and use a list comprehension to return the intervening points. The next case is all other vertical lines, that is, ones going up. After that, we can deal with horizontal lines, again getting the points for lines going left, and then right. Any other line should be diagonal and can be ignored in part 1. Using concatmap like this, we can get back a list of all points on all of the non-diagonal lines specified. And with a map length of group of sort, we get back the number of lines for each point. We are required to count only those with more than one line. Lastly, let's convert this to point free form. The second part requires us also to consider diagonal lines. We could add another four cases to our get points function but knowing that all diagonals are 45 degree angles, instead, let's just treat the x and y coordinates separately and use a subfunction and recursion to follow each line along. The subfunction will take either the x or y coordinate of the two ends of a point and move to the next value along, which is done by adding one if the destination is more than the source or subtracting one if it's the other way around. The equals case allows lines to travel horizontally or vertically, but when both coordinates are equal, that is our base case. We have reached the destination and can simply include the destination point only. Until tomorrow, happy Haskelling!